Hello, good morning, Ram Ram. I am Rohit Khanna, and you are watching our channel AC Astro. And today we are going to talk about uh, Libra ascendant. How the Saturn transit is going for the Libra ascendant? Uh, let's welcome Akash Chauhan from Calgary. He will tell more about this transit of Saturn for Libra. Hello, Rohit, hello everyone who is watching, and hello, hello. I hope that you are doing good. Uh, today we are talking yes. about the. Uh, Libra ascendant. That means open your chart, and if you see seven number in the first house, that means your Libra ascendant. If you don't know about anything, your chart or any, and you've just come across this video, post your comments below, and we will try to reply within 24 or less than 24 hours about your ascendant and about your transit of Saturn that is going to happen on the 17th of January of 2023. Right. So Rohit ji, now today I'm going to talk about. Uh, Libra ascendant and the placement of Saturn in the fifth house. First of all, Libra ascendant, it's a good news for you because Saturn is the Param Mitra, the very good friend of your Lagna Lord, that is the Venus, that is Venus. And people born in the in uh, uh, Lord Venus uh, Lagna are considered to be very lucky because Venus is a very auspicious planet for Kali Yuga. Saturn sitting in the fifth house, what will Saturn do? What is Saturn going to bring you? What results is going to Saturn give you? Here are a few pointers. First thing, Saturn is going to make sure that you behave intelligent in the public. If Even if you think that you are not confident, your confidence will be at peak. Your children, your children will start supporting you. Or maybe your children who are not studying or who are not showing interest in whatever you desired will now start showing interest. Your creativity will be at another level because Saturn sitting in the in its own house in the fifth number uh, Rashi, it's gonna be it's gonna be amazing in the fifth house. It's gonna be your creativity will be at another level. Maybe you will invent something. Maybe you right. can you can go beyond every imagination here. And this is the house of Punya. This is the house of Purva Punya, the Purva Janama Punya, the last life Punyas. So if you have, if you gathered any Punya in the last life, Saturn is now here as a judge to give you results for those Punya. And it's not only past life Punya, it's the past day Punya also. If you have done anything good in the past, Saturn is going to exactly give you good results for that uh, Punya, that uh, effort. It right. is also the karaka of education and it is sitting in the, it, it, it's going to now uh, help you get higher education. If you are want to move abroad, because it's also looking at your seven thoughts, which I'm coming next, it's, it's, everything is interrelated. If you want education and if you want to go abroad, then it is a very good point. If you want education in your home place, very good point because Saturn also rules your fourth house here, the house of your birth. So mm -hmm. very good. It's a very good time to pursue MBA or big, bigger things like with which you desire that now I need creativity, I need intelligence for this kind of thing and I'm ready now. So this is what Saturn is going to give effect in the fifth house. Now from here, Saturn has three aspects. The third aspect, the seventh aspect and the tenth aspect. Let's talk about the third aspect. The third aspect is on the, as on the sign of Aries. If it's a niche drishti, here Saturn, if Saturn sits here, it gives bad results. But when it looks here, it tries to give you challenges just remember right. it's not sitting there it's just looking there so once it's looking there it will give you challenges in it all depends on the placement of mars also that how mars is sitting in your chart is it enemy is it not enemy how well the mars is placed and on that basis also you will get many results but here saturn looks at your seven thousand of partnerships business partners marital happiness sex life looks and character reproduction genitals and in fact, some kind of foreign settlement as well. So Saturn right. has a lot of role here. When it looks here, it has to take care of a lot of things. So you have to be very careful what you're talking to your spouse, either you are male, you are female. You have to make sure that you respect each other. You respect your business partner. You obey them. You know, uh, on the next, next aspect, Saturn is going to look at your 11th house where you will get a lot of gains. So once you start getting money, you become arrogant, you become egoistic, you know, so you have to be very careful that you are not egoistic, you're not arrogant to your wife, to your business partners, to your work. Right. So this is the result of the seventh house for 
Saturn, uh, the first aspect of Saturn, the set, second aspect of Saturn is directly related to its third aspect yeah. as well because it looks at the house of gains and it looks at the house of bank balance. So your gains okay. will increase, your bank balance will increase. But here, the good part is if your gains and bank balances are increasing, you will be you will have to maintain very good relation with your elder siblings if if there are any or elder sibling figures friends who are like siblings you have to be very careful with dealing with them you have to also maintain your social image the 11th house is the house of social image you know you if you are getting money don't buy a mercedes be in the same car you are because it will lead to people th people thinking that you are now egoistic and you are sh doing show off. Saturn does not like show off. Saturn is a labor class planet. It likes to do hard work. But here Saturn is going to give you a lot of money. So you have to make sure that there is minimum show off. And Saturn is now aspecting the second house. The second house of immediate family members, wealth, speech, face, food habits and resources. So here we have to be very careful. Wealth, 100% wealth you're getting. But immediate family family member, like dispute with wife because it's also connected to the seventh house. It's also present. So you have to be very careful here that you do not do any kind of mischief. You have to control on your, you have to be very controlled on your speech because this is the Jali Rashi, the burnt house of Mars. Here, every speech, which everything which you speak will be like fire. So you have to be very careful. And because of this placement, because of the Saturn, now let's move to Rohit, the remedy expert, who will give a remedy which will change your life forever. Uh, definitely my remedy is, uh, uh, you know, very easy remedy. That is Hanuman Chalisa for all uh, daily, as much as you can do. And uh, in your time, either you are cooking or driving or whatever you're doing, say Ram, Ram, Ram in your mind or in... You have to do this thing uh, and you have to control your speech as Akash said. So main mantra for you is just to stay silent. And this two and a half years is very important. And if you're going through Shani Sarasati or uh, any Antardasha or Mahadasha of uh, Saturn, then it's more important to be silent. Akash, thank you very much. And thanks to all. Uh, you are supporting very well and please share and subscribe our channel, share our videos to all people and just put your date of birth in a comment. If you just want to inquire anything about uh, your birth chart or anything, any problem you are facing, we will try to solve this. Thank you, Kaj. Thank you. And we will meet you in next video with some next ascendant, maybe Scorpio. Okay. Thank you. Namaskar.